Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Bird, the Super Coach. Every week, I come to you live from the Greatness Factory here at Murfreesboro, Tennessee, really to do three things. I want to multiply life. I want to multiply your business. I want to multiply your uh, money, money, business, relationships. I just want to multiply, right? Scott Lumley, good, good to see you. Ken Lord, Tom Love, who was just here. John Ashford, Peter O'Neill. Guys, I just got back from the 10X Growth Conference and I took 25 people with me down on private jets, premium suite, great food, great entertainment, and there are some huge lessons that I learned as part of this experience that I want to share with you today. So today on Super Coach, we're covering one thing, the biggest lessons learned from going to the 10X Growth Conference. I'm Coach Michael Burt, and you're watching Super Coach. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coaching businesses and entrepreneurs like you to spike an additional 40% to your bottom line. Michael Burt is a multi-championship coach, best-selling author, trainer, motivator, and all-around super coach. Now. Now. From the Greatness Factory Studios, this is Super Coach. Welcome back to Super Coach. You know, I believe everybody needs a good coach in their life. I believe a good coach can change your whole freaking life. And one of my biggest beliefs is you need to get to places and get around people where there's high energy, lots of opportunity. You need to learn to exchange with other people. So uh, we had an opportunity uh, this past weekend to fly down to Miami, Florida. Like I said, we took two private jets, J.D. Frost and I. We took a full plane of people and we went down to 10X and we wanted to use this experience to leverage and build bigger business. So when you go to a conference and you hear some of the best speakers in the world and you get around a conference that big with, with thousands of people in an arena that big, there's lessons that you need to learn. But here's the sad part. Ron Denny and Tyler Asher and Dusty Wilkerson, Chad Williams. Sad part is most people go, they get excited, they get enthusiastic about something and they never go home and do anything with it. So uh, when I come home from a conference, I actually saw J.D. Frost talk about this as well on his Instagram. When I come home from a conference, guys, I'm looking at the three biggest things I need to shift. The three biggest things I need to do. The three biggest things I need to take action on. What I'm looking for is what I learned. So, so my lessons today, I'm going to go through some lessons that I, that I picked up while I was there. And, and I think if you didn't get to go there, I think it was a great conference. I think there's lots of great conferences in the world. It has a lot to do with the people you go with and the intention of the learner. You've heard the saying, the teacher will not teach until the pupil is ready. I'm a big believer in this concept of the, 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 the learner, the mindset and the humility and the discipline of the learner is how you learn, okay? I make up my mind before I go to a conference what I wanna get. And I typically get it within a matter of minutes because I've already made up my mind the one or two or three big things I'm going to extract from that conference. I don't go to things and go, well, I didn't get my money's worth. I remember going to a Tony Robbins conference in um, L.A. And, and I got what I, what I was looking for in the first literally 15 minutes, first hour and a half. I said, man, we could leave right now. And I got my money's worth. And they're like, well, what do you mean? It's four days, 50 hours. I don't need four days and 50 hours. I don't need four days and 50 hours. I can literally literally just get get up and get going right now and get it so what did i take away what's up dave steg blake duncan was in the box with me curtis budden first thing i learned 10x growth con number one we're not going big enough we're not going big enough whatever level you're playing at i guarantee it's not a big enough level i guarantee you there's more in the tank i guarantee you there's a there's a there's a greater uh, arena you could be playing in i mean the first thing i thought of is man we need to we need to have our monster nation conference what are we sitting and waiting on? We got six or 700 people. We got access to hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people. Why are we not hosting our own conferences? You know why? Well, it'll take too long and it'll be too much and it'll cost too much. This is how people look at something. They immediately discount a concept, boom, like that. Oh, it'll be very expensive. It'll, be, it'll take too long, it'll cost too much, it'll be too hard. You're not going big enough, man. I came back and I'm like, we're playing so small. And here's what happens. People tell you and they give you feedback like, oh, you're doing so good and you're growing so fast and people see, you know, you're doing so many things. Listen, you need to quit buying, you need to quit believing that. It's you versus your potential. So the first big takeaway I had is we're not doing big enough things. Chris Knowles, we're not going big enough. Okay, number two big takeaway is that you don't need to try to replicate someone else. This is a big mistake I made early in my career. Uh, part of the cycle of growth is you look out to a person that you admire and respect. For me, that was Covey, okay? And you emulate them, like you try to be them, but you're really not them. 
Like you're regurgitating their content. You're, you're, and I see a lot of people who do this. They're regurgitating somebody else's content. And it's natural. You're trying to emulate someone at you. But there needs to be a cycle where you look in based on my unique life experiences, my unique uh, mentors, my unique education. This is who I am. This is who, what I want to say to the world. There's a place there for you to own in the world, okay? And it's not repeating what somebody else did. It's being you, okay? The people that came up to our suite, the monster suite, the people that spend time with us are attracted to our style of coaching, which is authentic, which is real, which is caring about people. It's not a show. It's not just trying to constantly sell you something. It's trying to transform people's lives. And there's, there's a percentage of people out there Kelly Rollins, and Ken Lauren, Pastor Ken, that buy into that, Carrie Ann Sear, they're looking for authentic, they're looking for real, they're looking for people to help get them to a higher level and a higher frequency, they're looking for vested partnership, not just to sell a person a product. So what I walked away thinking is there's a space that we can own in the market, and it's not replicating what somebody else is doing, it's being who we are, it's defining our unique niche, okay? No matter what speaker they put on stage, every person had a unique ability. Some of those were better at articulating their unique ability than others, okay? Number three, when you think about going to a conference and picking up actions that you need to take, all right, you, you're thinking about this. Basically, a lot of times you're getting reminded, like people are reminding you about things that you should be doing. You already know to do them. What happened was you got distracted. You got distracted away from your dominant focus. You got distracted away from your system. And that person is like, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. But at the end of the day, you don't get on stages like that unless you've done something big. And there's a lesson in that. There's a lesson in, in doing something big, so big that other people are willing to pay you to figure out how you did it. I call it baking, uh, selling the recipe versus baking the cake. You want to sell the recipe versus bake the cake. Some of you out there baking the cake. Well, if you bake the cake really well, other people are going to want to know, how did you bake that cake? How did you learn? So you got to ask yourself, what is it I'm a true expert at that other people would pay thousands of dollars to come from around the country to watch me work? When you're watching Tom Brady and you're paying to watch Tom Brady, guess what? You're paying to watch him work. So how much would a person pay to watch you work? What kind of unique results have you gotten? What kind of extraordinary things have you accomplished? Like what things have you done? And if you said, I'm having a conference in Nashville, Tennessee, and I want people from around the world to come to it, what would they come to listen to for you? Let me, let me put it another way. If you were given a TED Talk and six million people were gonna see that TED Talk and watch that TED Talk and be interested in what you have to say, what would your TED Talk be? See, when I write books today, uh, Terry Jolly, and Myra Haley, when I write books today, here's what I do. I don't write a book unless I think it will move the needle. I don't write a book unless it will move the needle. Right, Lee Kentoff? I don't write a book unless I think it will move the needle. And I ask myself this, what am I an expert in? What have I done that nobody else is doing? So the books I'm working on now are, are really books about how I transitioned from a high school basketball coach to where I am today. Uh, so there's a book about transition. What have you done that other people would pay money to come see? Okay, what's up, Nick Mar Marietta? Good to see you. Okay, let me, fourth thing, then we're gonna take a break. So number one, you're not going big enough. That's the first thing I learned. Number two, you can own your own spot. Find your unique ability. Number three, uh, actions that you need to take as a result of being professionally reminded, I need to do this, I need to do this. That's what a great conference will do for you. And number four, this is the biggest takeaway for me. We purchased a suite at 10X. We paid 34,000 for the suite. We paid 20,000 a piece for the jets to fly down there, okay? So, so we're in, we're in for 50 or 60,000. I didn't count the food, the drinks, the energy, the, the hotel rooms to fly my staff down there. So why would we do that? Why would we invest that much money? Notice I used the word invest. Us having that premium suite was a structure. Now you hear me talk about this all the time. Create structures for people to exchange energy. Energy, ideas, money, resource, create structures for people to exchange. That suite was a structure. And people just came in and out of there. So every person that DM me, I'm like, come up to the suite, man. Come up and say hi. Come up and take a picture. Come up and let's spend time with each other. So, so one of the biggest lessons for me is the conference is a structure. 
The suite is a structure. The jet down there was a structure. The, the parties we went to afterward were just structures for what? For people to exchange time, energy, resource, creativity. You got to get this in your brain because this is huge. You got to get this in your brain because this is huge. Create structures in the future for people to come exchange energy, time, resource. This is a big lesson I did in the suite. So four big lessons I learned from 10X. When we come back, I'm going to talk about follow-up. I'm going to talk about energy. I'm going to talk about selling hype, selling hype. And then I'm going to talk about uh, how do we believe and, and move forward with something of our own that could be that big. Listen, I, I was at the very first 10X growth conference, guys. Riviera, Maya, Mexico. There were 75 people there. Okay, small. It was small. I think about some of the first things I did to where it is today. Every big star was once a little star that wanted to be a big star, and they took consistent and cons consistent and systematic actions. I'm Coach Michael Burt. You're watching Super Coach Amber Walsh. You're watching Super Coach. When I come back. I got four more big things for you um, about what I learned at the 10X Growth Conference. <laughs>
It's fascinating how they sold that festival. It's not fascinating how they did deliver on what they sold, but it is fascinating how they created hype. You've got to create enthusiasm and hype and push people to something in, in, in the future. Okay, go back and watch my podcast I did on Game Changer. You got to talk bolder. This is going to change your life. Then once people get there, there's energy, there's music, there's excitement, there's edutainment. There's more things than just a boring, traditional conference. So when we do the Monster Nation tour, we're going to do all that stuff, man. Except I'm going to have places faith-based, for couples, potentially for kids. I mean, it's going, to, it's going to touch every part of a person's nature because I believe in the body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit. So sell energy. Sell energy. I'm in the business of selling energy. At the end of the day, it's what I tell people. We package and sell energy with substance. Okay? Sell hype. Get people excited. Push people to something in the future. This is going to change your life. This is going to be the biggest thing in the world. Like I'm thinking about this Tim Story retreat we're doing in Vero Beach. You know, getting on a private yacht, uh, dinner at a mansion. All this is going to do is expand your brain. I remember going to a house, 25,000 square foot house of one of my neighbors and just walking around looking at everything that the person had. I was like, man, this is, cra this is crazy. I didn't leave there one a 25,000 square foot house, but I left there thinking, Man, this is inspiring. Like, this dude really went out there and did it. Like, he really went out there and pushed. All right, and let me finish up with this one. Part of getting on bigger stages in the world is, is first making the backstage sale to your own self and believing. The first sale you got to make every day is to your own self. you got to tell yourself you are a person of interest. People are counting on me to show up. I will show up, grow up, and deliver. My positive energy will be greater than any negative energy I face today. Okay, so when you're thinking about this, part of getting on bigger stages in life and getting attention of bigger people is first believing you are a big time person. I almost text Cardone right in the middle of the right, right in the middle of the conference and said, I'm ready. And when he said, ready for what? Ready to get up on stage and deliver. I don't need any preparation. I don't need any damn PowerPoints. I don't need anything. All I need is the microphone. Okay? Now, why? Because I believe. I've had revelation, I got conviction. I'll take action. I'm ready to go. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Let's go. You got to believe. You got to have that kind of conviction. You got to know that you deserve to be on the biggest stages in the world. Why? Thousands of hours of practice, man. Thousands of hours of practice. Now, I'm going to end this show by making an invite. March 6th, million dollar follow-up. Jack, you got that commercial to run or no? The million dollar follow-up commercial? All right, we're going, to put, we're going to put million dollar follow-up. I'm going to put it in the link. I want you to register. Come spend a day with me on follow-up, and I'll show you exactly how I follow up, okay? And exactly how tenacious, tenacious, tenacious. Almost, I was trying to divide audacity and tenacious at the same word. It's tenacity. That's what it's called. Amber Walsh, tenacity, okay? I'll show you how I follow up. I'll show you my seven-touch system. I'll show you how we go seven to 15 touches. I'll show you how to commit to something bigger and, and instill that in your team. I'm Coach Michael Burt. I believe everybody needs a coach in life. I believe a good coach can change your whole life. If you're serious about your potential, quit playing around, man. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Come see me at the Greatness Factory. Let's manufacture your greatness. Several years ago, I wrote a book called Million Dollar Follow-Up, really for one reason, because I noticed how pitiful people followed up with me. One time, do you have any questions? I woke up thinking about you. Just doing my due diligence, coach. These are all terrible ways to follow up. The purpose of the follow-up is to rekindle the initial attraction to the product or service. It's to show how your solution can solve another person's problem. It's to build momentum toward the close. It's to get people excited and enthusiastic about a bigger future with you versus without you. So if you haven't gotten a copy of Million Dollar Follow-Up, go to coachburt.com, get the MP3, get the download, get the book. It truly can be a life changer for you and your company because it shows you how to follow up like a champion.